My cousin Alfred King was 34 years old when he was killed in January of this year. When I heard of his death, the thing that I thought about was the 13-year-old Alfred that I first met. And ironically enough and sadly enough, I met him because his own mom had been killed several months before. Maybe he was 12 at the time. When he was 13, my wife and I started having conversations to try to at least get legal custody of him to get him out of Louisiana. We were going to bring him back to Maryland where I live. The word that got back to me from my uncle was that there was some kind of check that was actually coming in for Alfred. And it was just the kind of money that they couldn't relinquish. You know, some, sometimes that's a payment that keeps the utility bills and the lights on. It's, it's a number of things for, for this whole you know, section of, of America that lives in this caste system that we've got. At the very least, I could have actually provided him some other options of what life could look like and what other places and what other avenues he might walk down other than the ones that he ended up that led him back to a cold parking lot you know, of a small apartment complex on the street with a whole bunch of vacant lots and torn up houses. So, uh, you know, I've seen a, a number of these things and I keep wondering, so is there a commonality to this? Is there a commonality to what happened to Alfred? And yeah, the commonality is we have a, a, a caste system in America. And if you are born into it, it is exceptionally difficult to get out of it. Everything has to go right for you. And also, it's not going to surprise you that the people that are actually born into the lower economic runs tend to be the ones who end up, A, in the criminal justice system, B, end up as victims, you know, from that criminal justice system, from the criminal activity.